Hello, I'm going to do the Virgo love reading. And this is still a general reading. So this may or may not resonate with you. And if it does not, please feel free to check out your sun, moon, or rising sign as I post those on Saturday mornings at 6 a.m. You can also check out the daily readings. All right, let's see, we have these two. All right. So we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. We have playfulness. We have let go of control issues, free yourself, past life relationship, and soulmate. I feel like for those of you, um, if you're single or, in your re or you're in a relationship, I feel like there's something that you're holding on to. I feel like there's some negativity that you're holding on to, that there's, you're trying to control something because that gives you security. You feel that if you're in control, then you ha then you feel safer because this is a soulmate love relationship that maybe you are not used to having this type of relationship and this feels so different and you feel like you need to control the situation. But I feel like you need to free yourself. You need to just go with the flow. You need to just let things happen, not putting any boundaries on it. Um, I know this could be a scary feeling for you because then you feel like you have to take your walls down and you have to take your boundaries down to let this person in and that's a scary thing because you like to keep this fence around you and you like to keep these walls up and this guard up, but you're never going to find that true soulmate connection if you always have this fence around you and you don't let this person in here. Um, I feel like you need to make the effort to just be playful, to just be flirty, to just have fun, to just not put any pressure or restrictions on this new relationship that you're just starting. Or if you're single and you're dating or you meet somebody that you are not putting these restrictions and these um, expectations on meeting someone new. Like if you somebody asks you out on a date and you know sometimes um, you put too much pressure on it you say oh this is the person that I'm gonna be with and like you're putting too much on it like when you go out you just have to think I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna enjoy this evening or this time with this person and it's just gonna be like being with a friend and I'm just gonna enjoy this and be in the moment and not put any pressure on it and see what happens. And if something happens, then that's good. And if something doesn't happen, then it wasn't meant to be. And you shouldn't try and control it to make something happen if it's not supposed to. If it is supposed to happen, things will just fall into place naturally. And there's no reason to try and control a situation just free yourself from trying to control a situation and you might be surprised what happens you know if you're just being happy if you're just being playful you're not having all these restrictions and these borders and these expectations and you're just being you and you're smiling and you're laughing and you're having great conversation you know, and you're just shining and you're glowing and that, that person sees that and they're like, wow, that's pretty cool. And this may be somebody that you have a connection with that you feel is familiar and that person enables you to let this guard down, to let this fence down because they make you feel so comfortable because maybe you have had a past life relationship with this person so you feel that comfortable um, that comfortable feeling that you can do this and it, like I said I feel like it could be somebody that is so different that you've dated before and it could be because it was a past life relationship all right you're ready you're ready I'm doing an these are angel answer cards you're ready for this. You're ready to make the effort. You're ready to be you. You're ready to let go of control issues and to free yourself um, from past um, 
from past things um, that have happened before and you're ready to let... I feel like the free yourself represents and that of free yourself of carrying that baggage from past relationships. Like you've let that go and you've freed yourself for that. And so now you're ready to be playful and have fun. And now you're you're ready to let this soulmate in that feels so familiar. And always make sure that you communicate clearly. Um, but without putting any pressure on anything, I feel like if the relationship evolves, make sure that you communicate clearly with your partner because communication is very important in a relationship and that is what keeps it going, that's what keeps it strong, that's, you know, not going to bed or, you know, separating, like if you go your way, your house and he goes and the other person goes to their house, um, that you don't leave angry, you know, you don't go to bed angry, that you communicate things through if there was an issue. But I feel like at first you should just have fun, be playful, enjoy the time that you have together. Don't put any pressure or expectations on anything and you'll find that it'll be so much easier and it'll flow so much better. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.